What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brown Walkthrough. Okay, so we're starting off right here in, uh, let's see, around 67? Yes, uh, east of Hayward City, because there is something that I need to check out before we even go into the next part of our adventure right here. And that is that we actually have ourselves the HM01, and we are capable of using it now. And, plus, off-screen, I have been training Zoro since there is a Pokemon that I can't really use right now because I got it through a trade. I am going to teach Shroomy Cut right here. That way we can actually learn something. Now, as you can see, I do have Ultra Psycho. I actually, uh, well, I caught myself another one because, well, we kind of need another one. If you guys don't remember, we traded Ultra Psycho for, I believe, a Magmar or a Lapras. One of those two right there. So, let's go right ahead and uh, take a look at what we can actually find right here. Now, we can actually use the Cut technique. And just like Generation 1, we have to go straight... To oh, crap. There's a time. Okay, I was about to say. Oh, wow. We need a new badge. Crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. Never mind. But what we're going to do is we're going to go a little bit further right here because there is something that we need to get. I'm going to... I'm going to opt... Uh, well... I'm that on uh, deleting this part right here, but we need to actually find, uh, there's a TM right here that we can actually get, and if we could just stay away from the bushes or the grass, then that would be great. So we go straight forward right here, guys. You'll be able to find another trainer, and, well, another Pokemon, such as Radita right here. And, well, let's go ahead and run away. And, well, here we have a trainer. This is a nice resting place. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of a quick battle right here against this uh, lass. And she will actually come out with her Oddish. And luckily for us, we do have Sunny. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to actually switch it out to Zoro. We trained it up all the way to level 14. And luckily on our way back to, you know, Hayward uh, City, there were quite a few Pokemon. A lot of Grass-type Pokemon uh, to, that were at level 12, 13, and all that and all that stuff. And Zoro did have Ember just to finish this whole thing off. So there we go. Ember attack does its thing. And here comes another Absorb attack. Yeah, not going to... It's not going to work like that. Come on, here we go. And Zoro for the win. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And, well, she's going to be coming out with a Mankey right here. So let's go ahead and switch it out to Hurricane. And, uh, well, let's see what ha what else happens. Now, I have been thinking of grabbing some new Pokemon. Using some new Pokemon. I, I'm i still trying to figure out what a Wind-type is effective against. I, I don't think Wind-types are good against, uh, whatchamacallit, fighting types right here. So, yeah. We're just gonna have to figure that out right there. So, let's go straight for a quick attack. Right here for the win. And there goes Mankey. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And, well, I didn't see what the next Pokemon was, but I'm going to go to trusty, uh, good old trusty Bruce Lee right here. And a uh, crud. I could have just used Zoro right there. I mean, I'm doing double time right here. While I'm actually recording this, I'm actually looking into fixing up some videos right here, guys. Yes, that's how dedicated I am. So, let's see. Let's go and... Well, there you have it. We have defeated Lass, and, well, she's not so happy with us right now. So let's go ahead and grab this TM right here, and this is the TM-23. This is probably what I've seen before. This is a Dragon Breath right here. Look at this. We can actually teach a Dragon-type move to one of these Pokemon, but unfortunately, we don't have the, the, specific, the specific Pokemon for it. So what's going to happen is we're going to fast forward to the next town, and, uh, well... Yeah, we're going to fast forward to the next town and then start our tour from there. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are back in Osari City, town, or whatever it is called. And, well, while we were getting the heck out of Route 67, we happened to run into a nice Pokemon that we could use on our team for, well, this situation right here. And plus, I've been training, too. So let's go ahead and take a look at Ultra Psycho. As you can see, I've been switch training. Yeah, it is hell. We are that close to evolving it into a uh, Kadabra, and as you can see, I did teach it Bite and uh, Try Attack just to make sure that, you know, I could get some hits out of somebody. I don't know. Probably. But uh, here's the bigger surprise. We got ourselves Thrasher, as you can see. Poison type Pokemon. We've already have one. But it is one of my favorite Pokemon to use. 
Uh, and, well, here we are, close to evol evolving too, and I think we have a Moonstone with us, so yeah, that could be like double evolution, and it could be the same result going into this game right here. So here we are in Osari City. Don't know very much about this place, only that, yeah, here we have the, the game corner where you can actually find some uh, gamblers and whatnot. And this guy's like, I might as well live here, which is cool. Now, this is kind of uh, unique right here because the Osari, uh, yeah, we need some coins right here. And it's a thousand for fifty. And, well, let's see, we don't have a coin case. And if you talk to this lady right here, you can uh, make an exchange and prizes in the basement. Okay, so what used to be the rocket corner now is the basement right here. You go into this area, you can actually find yourself some, uh, oh wow, we don't have a coin case, but you can actually buy yourself some pretty good Pokemon right here. So, the main thing right here is to go ahead and find uh, a coin case, and knowing our Gen 1 stuff, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to go to, well, some kind of house around here just to find the coin case. So, that is probably what we're going to be doing right here, guys, and, well, let's see, well, there's, there's houses without doors. And, let's see, the name reader is right here, I would assume. So, if you go in here, let's see. Oh, my husband is addicted to these slots. Shoot, I would be addicted to the slots, too. I hope the daycare man is taking good care of my Pokemon. Yeah, the daycare is right here, and this guy's like, yawn. My wife told me to take a break. Huh, okay, well, thought he was going to give me the coin case and all that stuff, but that did not work at all. So, where the heck is the coin case? Talk to this guy, clear a new path to Hayward, once you, oh yeah, HM01, teach one of your Pokemon Cut, which we actually do have. Unfortunately, we can't use it right now because we need another badge, and, well, let's see, this city is a big fan of Pokemon, they can't get enough of them. Okay, alright, cool, and look at these Pokemon right here, I would assume they're Foss, like, I would assume that this is, yeah, this is the daycare right here. Not going there just yet, and yes, wonder how Voltorb is doing. Yeah, there are a lot of buildings here with no doors, so yeah, we're gonna have to figure that stuff out. And well, there's my special slot. Okay, we need to find the, we need to find a slot. We need to find a, the coin case. So let's see, not right here. And never let me win. I don't know if I'll earn back. Let's see, this guy gambling is healthy. Forgot my the coin case. Okay, where the hell is the coin case? Love this. More money. Okay. Damn, these people are really addicted. And Oh, he's on a roll. And let's see. Might as well live here. Okay, where the hell is the coin case? Want to add addicted to gambling? Let me help you. Oops, forgot the coin case. And what's up? You wanting some coins? No coin case. Okay, so where in the bejeebus can we find the coin case? Actually, let's go back up and go into the basement. There might be somebody in there that can actually give us a coin case or something. Let's see, right here, really need some rare candy for my Pokemon. And what a haul, okay, never mind. So it looks like to me that we're gonna be talking to a lot of people here just to try and find a coin case. And well, let's see. Can't tell me that they're in the Pokemon. Let's see, facing Lily. You should uh, pick up a few ice heels. Really? Who is Lily? And then uh, repel the yeah, wild Pokemon away from you. That's cool. Okay. I am looking everywhere, guys, for the coin case. Where could it be? Let's find out. Name Raider could probably have a coin case. I don't know. Let's see. Hello, hello. I'm the official Name Raider. Want to name nicknames your Pokemon? No. I don't have any Pokemon right now that I could be switching out the names. I've already been there. Uh, right here? Let's see, run the deck here, would you like me to, you know, not right now, and yeah, there is literally nobody here with a coin case, good gravy, okay, so the only place left that we haven't checked is the Pokemon Center, and you can't win just one strong Pokemon, it's stuff that you have to raise evenly, okay, I've already been told that, my buddy is still in the casino, he told me to wait here, okay. Uh, north of uh, Jaru City lies the Region League. Okay. Alright, so we don't know exactly where to get the coin case. <sighs> to me, it looks like we are going to have to just battle. We're, we're going to have to go through a, another gym battle because, uh, let's see, I've already seen, I've already been everywhere. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe right here? The bushes? I don't know. Okay, nothing there. And right here? No. What if we go downstairs right here? Nothing, except just a little river part right here. 
Okay, so there really is nothing for us right here except just moving around like morons. So, we're going to be going into the Pokemon Gym. Might as well because, screw it, it, it has to be done. We need, we need to enable this stuff and holy crap. Okay, so this is odd. This is like a combination of Brock and Misty's Gym. Okay, let me see. Let's see. Yo, champ in the making, here's my advice. The leader, Lily, loves to use ice Pokemon. If you have a fire or rock Pokemon, here, Poke her Pokemon won't stand a chance. Hmm. Okay, alrighty. So, let's see. I think it's a, it's a good idea that we had Zoro in mind. And, well, let's go ahead and start it off with Zoro. Start off with our new Pokemon right here. See how they will do in all that crud. Although, we do have Bruce Lee, just in my... Just in case you know something happens right here so here we go with the splash ready for a nice fight we will find out right here on Dragon Ball Z okay so swimmer wants the battle and he's coming out with his swine up now this is the first of the Hoenn Pokemon that we're seeing and as you probably already know swine up is also weak against water type Pokemon and that run that right that, that did a lot of damage right there so let's go again another ember attack for the win say goodbye to swine up yeah, buddy, okay. And, well, let's see, he's coming out with a seal. That is still a water-type Pokemon. Let's go with Thrasher. Okay, now, I'm just letting you guys know again that the majority of the Pokemon that you see right here will not be the same Pokemon I'll be finishing off this game with. I kind of want to use a nice plethora. I kind of want to make a new team and all that stuff. Or I kind of want to just, like, you know, see what team I can finish off with. And right now, Seal is making my life a living hell, so let's go with a Poison Sting. And there we go. Now, now we do have somewhat of an advantage. And Crap Baskets on a Crap School Stick. Our attack has fallen again. So we're going to have to use another Potion right here. So, come on, Thrasher. You got to live. You got to survive. And here comes a Headbutt Attack. That does some damage, but here's a Poison. Okay. Let's use another Potion. There we go, Thrasher still living up to his name, and good gravy, that Aurora Beam is going to be the death of us right here, but look at this, Poison is still killing this guy, and well, let's go with a Horn Attack right here. There we go, okay, so we're, we're just seconds away from beating this guy, and crap! Ah, crap, okay, so let's go straight to Ultra Psycho right here, that way it could evolve into a Kadabra, and let's go with a Tri-Attack. There we go. I, for some odd reason, I have like I get this strange satisfaction from Tri Attack in Generation One. It's just a weird attack for me. And there we go. Seal has fallen, and well, we get to level 16 for Ultra Psycho. And well, look at that. The swimmer is doing his thing. Glub glub can't be. This can't be. And well, there you go. Ultra Psycho is finally evolving. Thank goodness that I actually, uh, you know, trained it off screen. That way I can actually get it to this lo this point. So there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Kadabra. Alrighty. And it learned confusion. Alrighty. Okay, so we are in the driver's seat for everything now. I'll be right back, guys. I gotta go heal my Pokemon because there's another Pokemon right there that I kind of need to evolve to. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, guys, and, well, we healed up our Pokemon, we got some new items, and now we're going to be switching it up to Thrash right here, because I am actually bent on training my Pokemon right here to get to uh, Nidorino and then Nidoking. Now, here's a... Let's go ahead and take a little preview of Ultra Psycho and Crap Baskets. I was about to say, damn. Okay, so here we have Ultra Psycho, the Psychic-type Pokemon, and its special's pretty up there, and of course, as you can see, it has Teleport, Bite, Tri-Attack, and Confusion, two moves that I taught it, one that it learned by itself, pretty good Pokemon, Lego. Now, this right here is exactly like Misty's Gym and whatnot. Lily, sh Lily shouldn't waste her time with you. Okay. So it's pretty much the same thing as, uh... Misty's gym. So here we have Junior Trainer, female wanting to battle us, coming out with her shelter. And well, here we have Thrasher. Now we are gonna yeah, we're gonna struggle just a little bit right here because Shelter is a very defensive Pokemon. Here we go, horn attack. And well, let's go with a poison sting just to dwindle it down a little. And there we go, poison sting. 
Keep it going with the tackle. Good gravy. That was a critical hit. Okay. And, well, we're going to have to switch it out to Bruce Lee right here. Oh, yes. Okay, so here comes a withdrawal attack. Doesn't do much. And, well, here comes a double kick. There we go. There we go. Finish it off. Finish it. And there's that supersonic attack wanting to take us down right here. So here we go. Double kick yet again for the win. And look at that. Okay, Bruce Lee for the win. And it looks like to me that I might not be evolving Thrash right here because I kind of don't want to risk losing any kind of uh, any kind of moves against this guy or this chick right here. So let's see. You know what? Let's go ahead and use Thrasher. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna see how this is a uh, how this is gonna work. And well, here's Lily. Hi, here your new face to me, and uh, or your face you're here to face me. And well, of course, I'm talking is like yeah. I'm on a quest to get all eight region badges and compete in the region league. Well, if you beat me, you you can get the hail badge. Give it your best, or give it your best shot. Okay, so here we go. A battle against the Misty looking like Lily, and well, she is coming out with a jinx. Holy crud! This is a uh, this is kind of new. This is kind of scary too because jinx. Also a psychic type Pokemon, and well, if we can dwindle it down, here's the X the fan. If we can dwindle this Pokemon down, that would be great. So we're gonna try and poison it right here. Here we go with a or a lick attack and poison sting attack yet again. Come on, get poisoned! And here comes a lovely kiss and crud. We are we are asleep. Here comes a powdered snow and. Yeah, okay, so we woke up, and another Powdered Snow will make its way, so Thrasher will not be evolving in this episode right here. So, let's go straight to Zoro, just to make things a little even. Yes, Fire-type, Ice-type, eat this, and here comes a Pound Attack, and, well, here comes the Ember Attack of its life, and that right there hurts it a little bit more, but here comes a Lovely Kiss, trying to put us to sleep, and, well, we are asleep right here. Here comes a pound. Gravy, gravy. Come on, Zoro! Okay, I'm gonna do the speed button. Come on. Crap baskets, we lose. Okay. Let's do it. Bruce Lee, let's get it. It is a fighting type Pokemon, but we can use takedown attack and a miss. Good gravy. Yeah, we're getting our butts kicked right here by Jinx. Okay, takedown attack. For the win, say goodbye to Jinx. Good gravy. And, well, let's see. Here comes a Lapras. Now, that right there is a scary, scary Pokemon. Let's continue and just go with Bruce Lee. Let's get this double kick. It's still a nice type Pokemon. Look at that. Super effective. And it almost defeats Lapras. And here comes that Ice Beam. Good God. And there goes Lapras. Or there goes, well, Bruce Lee. Okay, so three of my Pokemon are down. Let's go with Ultra Psycho right here. We are faster than this Pokemon, and well, let's see. Let's go. Try attack for the win. Not so effective, but it's a critical hit nonetheless. And Ultra Psycho grows to level 17. And we have defeated Lily. Holy crud. And she's like, wow, you're too much. All right. You can have this Hail Badge that will help you. Okay, alrighty. The Hail Badge lets you use Cut anytime if you if you have the HM. Also, go and take this TM I found earlier. I, it should help. It should help you. And here we have the TM13. It's Ice Beam, and uh, wow. Okay, so it's pretty awesome. Believe it or not, guys. Again, you can still buy an Ice Beam attack anytime over at uh, Hayward City, and uh, it, it you know it. It's actually a good, good thing because, you know, there are a lot of Pokemon I kind of want to use Ice Beam for. So, that makes two badges right there. And, well, let's go ahead and take a look at the design for that badge. And look at that, look at that. Okay. So, that is two badges in all. We are capable of using Cut now. And, well, I think I think I already know what I'm going to be doing. Uh, might be getting a, a Pokemon out of the, the PC. Start cutting our way through a bunch of stuff. 
exploring some things. But we're good. we're actually we're actually having some fun right here, you know, having fun with this game. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going to the next adventure wherever it is, and uh, yeah, we're gonna be finding out some new stuff, maybe new Pokemon and all that crud. We'll see. Stay tuned, guys. See you guys.